couple of weeks of school, I was um, I was upset because I wanted to be able to look at the tunnel to get uh, test scores for my students to see where they stood and um, what I needed to work on. Also, I am a special ed teacher and I had some IPs that I needed to work on and I do use this tool to help me pull their scores so I can put them in the IP and um, I was not able to access it and so that meant I had to go to ask someone to help me find the scores and it's just so convenient to be able to pull it up from this site and find what I need. Um, we have a class of Math 3 support students that have um, all taken Math 1 and Math 2 and are looking at whether they need to take the graduation test of mathematics this year. Um, and I say we because I have an inclusion teacher with me during that class. And so we wanted to find out those scores early on and again we're unable to do so. Um, so we did go ahead and go to the vault <laughs> um, and look those up, but then of course we've since been able to access the information. Um, I think the best part of LDS for me is just being able to get some background information from my students that I would have had to take in hours to look up and go into the vault and, and find CRCT scores and, and EOCT scores and, and that sort of thing. So it's great to be able to just click a couple of times and pull up that information and it's right there. And that way I can check and see. I teach math too, so I want to know how many of those students actually passed the EOCT in Math 1 because if they didn't, then I'm going to push them a little bit harder to pass the, the Math 2 EOCT so they don't have to take the graduation test. So it's great to be able to access that information just so quickly. It's so convenient. Yes, I teach Math 3 and I have students who need to take the graduation test so I can quickly figure out who needs to take that test so that I can provide them with the review work that they need and I can also quickly determine the kids who are struggling with math. If they have, if they have struggled with math one and two, it is likely they're going to struggle with math three, and maybe we need to look at putting those kids in math support early on so that they can um, be, get their math credits and have the support they need. And just finding test scores quickly helps. For one of my classes, uh, I gave my first test in class and that particular class did more poorly than the other classes. And so I was trying to think what's going on in this class and it seemed to be just even the atmosphere in there wasn't very productive. So I went into LDS and I looked at beyond just their whether they passed their test like and of course I actually went in and looked at each student's grades on their transcript to kind of get a feel for how they did and I redid the entire seating chart putting those students who had exhibited the strongest grades in mathematics and just looked like the the overachievers or the high achievers and spaced them out differently in the room and it made a remarkable difference in that classroom just to change the seating based on what I found there. Uh, one of the things that I like to use it for is to be able to check out the previous scores of my students. I teach freshmen and so they come in a lot of times um, I don't know how to really describe it but they come in thinking that they don't really have to work really hard and so sometimes you're not real sure if the effort they're giving you is really what they're capable of or if they're slacking off and it helps me to be able to go back and see the students who have struggled in the past and if they have had poor test scores and everything, it kind of helps me to know their math background more so that I can know the different concepts that I need to be able to maybe put more emphasis on things that I think they should have already known. It lets me know, well, maybe they don't. So I need to go back and reteach some of those concepts. 